What's up guys? Back again, new video, new spot, and a new toy. Things how in our last video, everyone said we needed one, so we went out and got one. We got an auger due to popular demand. Went on Amazon, found this electric one because we got the generator. This is how it works, right? I don't know, never use it. Took it out of the box, put it in the back of the truck, and then drove out here. We're gonna go <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Not a jackhammer. So we're gonna go test a couple spots. You're a jackhammer. You're a jackhammer. Test a couple spots, pan it out, see what's in there. We can label our buckets, yada, yada, yada. Make this quick, short, simple. Let's get to drilling some holes, seeing what kind of gold's out here. Okay. So we got our first spot, and why did we pick this spot? So where we found our gram and a half nugget is not too far from here, and there was a layer of a reddish clay just above the caliche. And we were walking around, checking this area out, and all this right here, that looks like the same red clay. So we're thinking the caliche is not too far from here. I mean, we're in, you can see we're in a very wide wash here. We're thinking that if we could punch through this and get what's in it, pan it out, see if there's any gold. And I know somebody's saying it's too wide of a wash, it's not going to be there. Well, we got the auger, we're going to find out anyway. And then we have a few other spots we're going to check out throughout the day. So Colin's bringing the bucket and he's going to do the honors of firing this thing up for the first time. All right, well, here's to not rip my fucking arms off. Let her eat, bud. Oh, there was one. I'd say it works pretty good. I'm not too sure about the sandy wash. I mean, it it broke up all this, but. Oh, I thought you were gonna go right here. Well, no, it's not gonna break through that. That's all hard. Well, you could try it. I mean, you were pulling chunks out of it. I mean, if it's just a clay, it should go right through it. But I wanted to see what it actually broke up. Uh, unlike regular soil, obviously this is a lot different because it's, you know, not packed. Like that's basically just freaking sand. So yeah, I guess we just kind of put this in a bucket. Yeah, yeah. Get it, drill, baby, drill. Except we're not looking for black gold, we're looking for gold gold. <laughs> Real gold. Although fi find, finding oil out here would be uh, I, I obviously know there's probably not oil here, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. We'd all be retired. <laughs> what are you doing down there, Dwayne? Damn it, Dwayne. Get out of our hole. Go back to Maui. You know, if he just ha so happens to find one of our videos one day just browsing YouTube, he's like, why do they keep saying my name? <laughs> well, this thing's definitely helping us get to what we want to see faster. Yeah. So that's, that's good. Instead of digging holes all day. Right here? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, but I think that's uh Well I mean like the saw the other the other part of the clay layer wasn't that big. You know Hada. from the reviews I watched on this thing on YouTube, it's uh 
A lot easier when you have actual soil and not <laughs> this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd imagine so. So here's your prospecting review on this particular here auger from Amazon. Particular here. Particular here. All right, let's uh, let's go classify it and hand it out real quick. See uh, yeah. anything worth it in this thing. All right, let's do shit. So, uh, per usual, so uh, we forgot stuff, and this time it was the classifiers. Well, we brought them. We just didn't. They're at camp. No, I think they're back at the house itself. Oh, really? Yeah, I think we didn't grab them at all. This is gonna be a fun pan. Yeah, have fun, bud. <laughs> Oh, shit. A little bit out of time, I guess. Yep. That's refreshing. Is it? Big one. Sometime, I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll just classify it down. We don't have to classify it. All right. Well, so far, so good. That's a pretty good sized flake right there. Uh, not too bad. Well, you find anything yet? Just that one piece. Really? Yeah. Well, it's all good. And the auger definitely saved us a lot of time digging. So thanks for the recommendation. Yeah. We knew we needed one, but you guys twisted our arm. Yeah. Twisted it just enough. Body. Got a five gallon bucket faster than we ever have before. Yeah. Except we don't have the classifier. So just that one flake so far. I've got probably one more pan left after this. I'm uh, not saying that that spot in particular doesn't have a lot of gold. It could, but I think we're just gonna kind of hop around today, test a couple different spots here. I was just gonna stay and run the dirt. You guys are not here. Nope. All right. Well, one little one little fly poop. Yep. So, move to another spot. See if we can, take we can get a little uh, further down. We also. Uh, Got a couple friends with us today. Say hi guys. What's happening? Hi guys. <laughs> you already know who I am, but I'm waving anyway. <laughs> That's Adam and Eric. Their channel is Silver State of Mind. Go to the fire department! Put it in reverse, Eric! They're out here prospecting with us. They actually have a wash plant up at their own private uh, acreage that they got. So we're camping with them this weekend. They're gonna sh show us how their wash plant works, take a couple buckets back there. We actually may have did a little uh, late night prospect. Yeah! Later. Let's go! Oh! Let's go! Nice dip! Yeah. Mo yeah Moonlight we, prospecting I, last night. We sure night. did. <laughs> we sure did. Very early morning. <laughs> it was like the most random thing too. We're all just sitting around the campfire and they start loading the truck up and we're like, oh, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> nice shift. <laughs> About 3.45 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. that was, uh, it was interesting Interesting to say the least. But we had fun, got a little late start this morning, but we're just gonna test a couple more spots out, load up a couple buckets, we could bring it back. We got a shit ton of dirt to run. We got what, about a yard? Half a yard. Half, half, half yard we gotta run through their wash plant. So we're gonna check that out in a little bit too, but we're gonna clean this up, move to the next spot and keep going. All right, so we've been driving around trying to find another spot that we think is good, and we actually found a little prospect right here. Pretty good size. Connor took out the metal detector. I went down into the hole that they had dug, and they hit bedrock here. So I'm gonna take a sample into the bucket instead of using the auger, just because the work's already done. There's no point. <laughs> You gonna find a damn nugget yet or what? I'm trying, man. <laughs> there it is. Wobble pop. All 
Hot rock. Bitch. I'm trying to get in there. Get in there. Hey, my oh, turn. Shit. Careful, bud. Where's the gold? You tell me right now. I'm losing my mind. Get out of here, Dwayne. I want the gold nuggies. I just want to find one nugget with this thing so I know that it works and I'm not discouraged anymore. I don't think there's anything in here that this thing will pick it up. Probably not. Yeah. But we have that test bucket so we can try the test bucket out, see what that does. We can set up the high banker back at camp run that through there quick classify it down see what it does i'd also like to find a space rock today because there's actually quite a few members out here today as well and they said they've been finding some meteorites so i would like a space rock today space rocks space rocks Aliens. all right let's go find another place to uh test that auger out on yeah yeah yep, yep. no since we bought it because you guys wanted us to buy it kind of i mean i guess they wanted us to buy it they didn't make us buy it. They made us buy it. You guys made us do this. Yeah, you did this. You did this to us. Damn it. The first spot we went and augured, they took a sample for themselves. Look what they got. Gold there. There's definitely gold there. That's pretty good. For just a small sample, that's really good. Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided that from what we found on our first test with the auger and kind of driving around this area, that bedrock and caliche is very shallow. Very, very shallow. At least in that spot. So, we're gonna switch gears for this right now. Plans have changed, again. <laughs> we sure are good at doing that, aren't we? You thought you were getting an augering video, but no, you're not. Psych! So, we have a bunch of dirt from our little adventure last night. This is that dirt we were talking about earlier from a hole that we dug. Really, is it from a hole? It's a, it's, and well, it's from a hole now, because we made a hole. And now we're gonna run it through this contraption. You have a name for this thing? Yeah, uh, Little Blue. So little blue. this is what happens when you put homeschool engineering mixed with a little bit of crazy and then a lot of ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see this thing fucking go, man. This is uh, yeah, too honestly. Who, who wants to give the rundown on this? Adam. Go ahead, Eric. Adam, baby. You know how it works. So I don't know. Basically, they set the pump up, comes in here, we drop the water, we'll feed it up here. So what is this? This is the shaker. So it's going to be well, basically a shaker and a pre-screener. So the dirt, the main gold will fall through, come out through here, and then the overburden heavy rocks are going to come and dump here. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sharp in the desert. I don't know what you're saying. Like, yeah, I got attacked by a bush earlier. <laughs> right, right in the crotch region. We've got some magnets set up underneath here, so that should catch some of the black sand. What's up? Come down. Clean it up. And we'll find tons of fun. And you got another shaker here too. Yep. That's so a, this the is that. Yeah, the deep watering. So we've got a little thin screen under here. The sand will come out, and then this quarter inch comes down. And then we recycle the quarter inch around the fireplace. fireplace. Oh yeah. Yeah, look, that's that's called ingenuity right there. Recycling rocks. Recycling rocks. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's what you look like when you do that. Is it? Yeah. It's just not as sexy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess it's time to uh what's it called? Old blue? Little blue. Little blue. That's gonna... Big Blue over there. We killed it. <laughs> they killed Big Blue. R.I.P. Big Blue. Rip. Rip. Press F for respect.
<laughs> All right, let's hit, let's get this thing going. Thing's a little louder than I thought it was gonna be, but she's running. So Connor is on the possible recovery mission to see if they're actually losing any gold out of that thing. So they changed uh, the shaker deck up top. They angled it a little more. And there's a little bit of uh, there's some clumps of dirt falling down through where the bigger rocks show would be going. So I took some of that. I'm gonna pan that out to see if there's any gold in it. And I put a bucket underneath just in case there is so we don't, you know, so they, they're not losing it, losing it. And then I'm gonna test the end of the the end of the run there too to see what's falling out of the backside. Hopefully there's nothing, but there might be a little bit. But if there's like a tiny amount compared to what they actually get out of it, it's you know it's not gonna cry over it. It's not like the dirt goes anywhere. It just you know it sits right there. It sits right there. <laughs> spread it out and keep building on it. So you can always go back and rerun it if they wanted to. All right. Alright, well, wasn't anything in it, so that's a good sign. So, I'm gonna go try from the end there, see if there was anything in that. So, before I test the end of it, see if there was any, any, little, 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 anything off the backside, I well, want you guys to see this beautiful sunset. Isn't that nice? It's not just all brown dirt out here. The desert is actually pretty beautiful sometimes. All right, let's get to finding out if we're losing anything out the back end. Nothing. We're good. Ow. I'm gonna do another one. God, my hands are cold. Do another couple tests in about an hour. We still got plenty more dirt to run. So I have to go pee pee. Doing a little cleanup now. See anything yet? It was running pretty fast through that top box though. What is the gold? You know what they say about black sand? What? When there, or there's black sand, you'll find more black sand. Yeah. Man, look at all this black sand. Chunks and chunks of magnetite. All over the place, man. It's good. I heard you boys may have found some gold over here. Uh, Possibly. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be gold in there. Decided to stop. We've got to do a little modifications to that there up there box. Shutting her down for tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, Right now we're rinsing right here. I've got a bunch of water coming down here, which is kind of pointless. Oh, I have okay. a little water here, which is rinsing, and it's right. taking forever. Taking I'm going to eliminate all of that and add something here to slurry it first. Oh, okay. And then it'll drop right through. You can feed it so much faster. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Ran a little bit of dirt. How long do you think that run was? A couple hours? Probably, yeah. Slow. Yeah. So all the keep the light on there it's all the dirt we ran shut her down for now so 
gonna make some changes to this thing in the morning start running it again we're also gonna go out and uh try to go home with some gold for ourselves not sure where we're gonna be going yet but we'll find out in the morning well hello there good morning ish yeah whatever time it is for you good whatever time it is for you yeah afternoon midnight one in the morning well as you can hear from the noise behind me oh uh, they just shut it down Woo. i'm too late but night shift to day shift. Night so shift to day shift. Never so. stops. <laughs> so we made this little modification last night after we uh, we shut her down, just to get the water up here, wash all the dirt easier. He didn't like how the spray bar was working. So seems to be working a little better now, yeah. Yeah. Feed it much faster. A lot faster. It wasn't clogging up as much as it was last night. Now it looks like they're about to do another cleanup. So they're gonna clean that up. See what they got out of the rest of that. Yep, she's empty now. And then uh, while they do that, we've already sort of packed up camp. But the plan is we're gonna probably go back to that wash we were at yesterday with the auger. And we're going to get as many buckets full of dirt that we can to run through their uh, wash plant. And we're gonna use their backpack because we didn't bring ours, but that was on purpose. That wasn't, we didn't forget it. So we're going to take the backpack dirt off the bedrock and we're gonna run it through our high banker while they're running, like I said, the five buckets through their wash plant. Whew, that was a mouthful. All right, so we came back to the spot where we were augering earlier. Adam and Eric came over just a little about oh, freaking 10 feet. And they made this little trench right here. And that's the spot they found that chunky gold out of. So what me and Connor are gonna do while Adam and Eric are back at camp running the concentrates from the night shift hole, run through this, get as much stuff as we can into these buckets. We brought the vacuum with us that they had. We're gonna vacuum up that. We'll bring it back, run the buckets through their wash plant and then run the stuff from the vacuum through the high banker just to give it a different test, see what's on the bottom compared to what's in the dirt itself. All right, so we went through, got as much overburn as we could off, dug down, put that stuff into buckets. We have four buckets full of the internal dirt. We're gonna vacuum up. Did you say turtle dirt? Internal. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna run this, uh, the vacuum through the hole, the trench. I guess it's more of a trench than a hole at this point because it's straight. Go through all this. Once you do that, we'll go back, run the rest of the shit, and uh, hopefully we'll find some uh, decent stuff here because then we know these new claims here are a good spot. Yep. And then, uh, give me the camera. And then <laughs> Then once we're done running that, we were kind of thinking of sticking around camp over there because they said that they've, uh, Eric said he, he dug a hole a while back and he actually found some, some decent pieces in just a five gallon bucket. So I'm interested to see what's over there. And obviously we'll be, we'll be coming back out to this side and we got, like I said, we got a lot more areas to explore. Yeah. So. Quiet. I'm not going to be as efficient at this as I was that last video we did when I used the vacuum because I don't have my brush. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently I have a crevicing tool that we've never used that before. That we've never used before that I've made three years ago. But it's still pretty wet down here from all the rain recently. But you can see exactly all this red dirt that's in here and that's the good stuff you want but we're more or less just testing this to see if it's worth coming back to then use all the fine tools to get down into this clear basically basically what we did that last video clear that whole section out of bedrock and just vacuum it all up yeah but from what that hole had in it was way more in that little section 
than we got that entire day out at Meadview. Yeah, he's not wrong. So this this could have a potential of a lot of gold in it. Yes, it's a big wash. Um, yeah, which is weird to me because everyone always says the bigger the wash, the smaller the gold. Yeah, but if you look throughout this wash, there is a bunch of heavies all over the place. I mean, there is a lot of finds too, but even seeing bedrock, it's a good sign because bedrock is your natural sluice box in one of these. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, back to doing this. Yep, yep, okay, go. Go and get. So, what I'm going to do while he moved down there is I'm gonna take a crevicing tool, just kinda like a call and said I'm just gonna break break all this up as much as I can and then he's gonna come back through with the vacuum and uh suck the rest of it up. I don't wanna miss any gold. Alright we're about all vacuumed up got everything down nice and clean oh I'm dropped the camera pretty much down to that caliche bedrock. Connor's just cleaning up one last part of this little trench right here. We're gonna put that in the buckets, take it back and run what we got. All right, so this is from the vacuum. This is just that top layer of crap. I'm gonna run this through here. I'm gonna run the second bucket from the vacuum through this as well. So I'll pan this one first, pan the second one. Connor's gonna use the wash plant for the four buckets that we use for the top layer and whatnot. <laughs> You're a noisy little girl, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Hopefully we got some goodies in there. Time to do a clean out. I bet we find more gold than Colin. Look at that guy over there. Acting like he knows what he's talking about. And you shut your mouth when I'm talking to you. <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. Just because you're the fucking director don't mean you can tell me what to do. I know shit. <laughs> I know things. Yeah, cause of me, boy. All right, so I'm about done with this. It took me just as long, pretty much, to run. Two buckets were through this high bank, and then it took Connor to run four buckets through that wash plant. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's a little disappointing. This little two right at the top. So I really hope most of it is in that because there ain't shit down there. Hopefully we got a bunch of gold in this bucket. I mean it's still mine of Clean to me. Think she's a little over full, don't you? Tenth of a gram. Tenth of a gram? <laughs> That's what came out of there? About half a yard. Holy crap. Pretty bad. So, not the best, but there's a tenth of a gram in that little vial. It's alright. There's more gold out there to find. So, don't know how, but we got one tiny piece out of that. And how many did you say you found? They got... That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. That's fucking weird. Prospect. Maybe we're just bad luck. 
Alright. Well, I'm confused. Oh. Oh. Easy, bud. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, we're cleaning up and Colin's trying to hurt himself over there. But, unfortunately, we didn't really find anything yesterday or today. That one, that one spot was weird because they took a small, small sample from it and got some good gold. So that's why we went back, and uh, you saw what we found. Jack shit. Yeah. So there's always next time, but I figured I'd at least, at least show you guys some gold. It's nice, isn't it? That's a, uh, that's, that was from. A half yard yesterday, about a tenth of a gram. That was from the night shift. Yeah, that was from the night shift. And this is this is some of what they have. There's gold so, out here. There, there's definitely gold over here. So we'll just have to do our due diligence and, <laughs> and find where it is. So I think I think next time we're probably gonna we're gonna hit the other side of the valley because we know there's that's where we found that nugget. We're gonna check around closer to here because they said they found some. Some stuff around here. Hopefully they'll invite us back out to uh, get some of this property here with them. Help find their gold on their property. Yeah, hopefully they like us enough to invite them back to invite us back out. <laughs> cool, appreciate it. Yeah, it was a uh, we had a lot of fun. Definitely a good time. So. We always joke about on the way out we feel the weight lift off our shoulders and on the way back. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. So again, I'd like to get a shout out to uh, Adam and Eric and you guys' YouTube channel. Silver State of Mind. Silver State of Mind. No, we're not in the Silver State. <laughs> we're not telling you where we are, but I'm sure some of you already figured it out. So anyway, with that, we're all packing up and we're going to head home because we're tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I smell like shit. <laughs> That's nothing new for you, bud. That's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, we definitely had fun out here. Always a good time meeting new people, making new friends. It uh, seems like the gold community is large, but it's also, you know, tight knit. I, I don't know if that's the right word. Whatever, I'm rambling. So, all right, well, subscribe if you're not. Like, blah, blah, blah. Okay, bye. See ya. Say bye, Colin. Later.